everyone, so this video is going to be all about bathing long-haired piggies and Lyra, my Luncaria guinea pig, is going to be the star of the show although they are all getting a bath today I thought I'd recover some of the most important tips for bathing long-haired piggies as they are more likely to need baths than their short-haired companions and you little pig, oh look at that face <laughs> So because their hair is long it naturally picks up more debris, it's more likely to get dirt stuck in it and it's more likely to soak up urine. So bathing for long haired guinea pigs should definitely be done on a more regular basis than short haired piggies. The things that you need to bath your guinea pigs include a big bunch of old towels, you need to decide whether you're going to bath them in the bath, the sink or use an old washing up bowl like me. Personally I like to use a washing up bowl just because she'll be in a more safe, secure place and she's not going to hurt herself if she jumps out. You also need to think about what shampoo you're going to use. Now definitely use a guinea pig shampoo only, do not use human shampoos and um, I'm sure you've all heard of it, the Gorgeous Guineas brand is highly recommended for piggies. I'm going to use their Posh and Go conditioning shampoo which is great for long haired piggies because it helps detangle the hair and keep it nice and soft and smooth. You also need something to pour the water over your piggy, so I've got my uh, <laughs> highly relevant guinea pig mug. <laughs> And to bath Lyra I'm just going to follow the instructions on the Posh and Go shampoo which I have. If it focuses, <laughs> it doesn't want to. So it says massage into wet hair avoiding the eyes, rinse and repeat, leave on for three to four minutes and then rinse thoroughly and towel dry. And I am also going to dry her with the hair dryer because I think that helps detangle her hair as well and she doesn't mind it. So there we go, I've got about an inch of water in there and I'm going to slowly lower her in and get her all wet before putting the shampoo on. So as you can see, her being in the washing up bowl, she's in a nice little contained area and I can hold on to her and make her feel a bit more safe than if she was in a big open bath for example. I'm just going to drip the shampoo on all the way around and she's quite happy with her front paws up on the side she probably feels a bit more safe like that so that's perfectly fine I'm not going to stop her from doing that. Owie. With long haired piggies it is especially important that we really thoroughly wash around their rear end because that is unfortunately where they're most likely to get urine soaking up into the hair and um, some guinea pigs unfortunately do have a habit of sitting in their own poo and wee which is not very pleasant. Be prepared for wet trousers when you're doing this. I've got a fresh tub of water and I'm going to lower her in again and just repeat except this time I'm going to leave the shampoo on for three to four minutes and when I do that I'm going to lift her out so she can just sit in uh, her little pile of towels while she uh, waits. And after three minutes I'm just going to rinse her off and make sure all that shampoo is out of her hair. I think Lara's had enough. <laughs> you can just see how long her hair is now it's all uh, wet behind her but I have made sure all the shampoo is rinsed out and she is good to go and have a bit of a dry off with a towel. <laughs> She's left of her own accord. <laughs> You must actually make sure that you let them shake off as well because this is one of the best ways that they can get dry. There's a brilliant example. There we go, Lyra is all cleaned up and all dry, or dry enough that I'm happy to put her in the cage and let her finish drying naturally. 
I have also trimmed her hair and it was quite long so it was obvious that it was dragging along behind her in the cage and that it was probably making her uncomfortable. So she's had a trim and she's all washed, she's all dry and I hope you'll agree that she looks a lot better and a lot less tangly than she did before. <laughs> She really does seem to like the hairdryer. <laughs> it's quite funny, um, I carried on hairdrying her, she was happily eating her poops just as she is now. <laughs> she was washing herself and she was like really not really bothered by it which was nice. So I was able to use a hairdryer especially around her sides and her back to make sure it's all dry and she's all dry and warm underneath. So I hope you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, goodbye!